Hello everybody, welcome to our e-learning session uh, for Primary 4 about the story Christmas Carol. Uh, as we said in the, last, in, in the last session that the middle ghost, the ghost of the present, came and uh, he took Scrooge to a journey to Mr. Fred's house. And Mr. Scrooge was so delighted, he was so happy because he knew that his nephew loved him and cared about him and um, he, he heard him while talking to his guests that he, ha he, he will continue um, asking him to come to join them every Christmas. Maybe sometime he will answer and say yes. And he also um, heard his um, Fred's wife telling him that I think he will not do that because all what he cares about is money. And then what happened? He was so happy and he, he wanted to talk to Mr. Fred and his guests to tell them thank you for wishing Happy Christmas to him. But actually, Mr. Uh, uh, the ghost told him that it's forbidden. We have lots of places to go, so we have to leave. And he led him away. Now, in chapter 6, let's see in slide number 2 what's going on. Now, the second sp uh, spirit took Scrooge to visit Bob Cratchit. Who is Bob Cratchit? He is the clerk of or the assistant of Mr. Scrooge. Remember him, the one who was a very, feeling very cold and didn't, didn't dare to ask about more cold? Do you remember that? He is that one. The one who was, he, who was asking for one day vacation for Christmas. Okay, let's see. Now, where, where is the house of Mr. Scrooge exactly? It was in the poor side of the town. They walked to the to Bob Cratchit house and Scrooge um, saw that there were many children there around the table getting ready for dinner. And he said to the ghost, oh, sorry, and the ghost said, such a large family with so little money. The ghost said that because Scrooge is paying very little amount of money for, for Cratchit. So he's trying to tell him that the money that you are paying for your clerk is so little because they are a very big family. And then what happened? At the very moment Bob Cratchit entered, was he alone? No, he wasn't alone. He was carrying in his, in his arms and on his shoulders his little son. And the boy was very ill and he used a Cratchit to, uh, to walk, to help him to walk. Do you know what is a Cratchit? A Cratchit is um, a wooden stick that we uh, hold it in order to help us to move. Okay. Now what happened? The family went around them and they welcomed them and they all sat down eating happily. They had um, a dinner table full of, they had not, it, it was not full of uh, food, they had only one goose and some potatoes for, eat, for dinner to eat and also a little punch to drink. Punch is a kind of drink but it's, it's a very cheap one. And also there were a few chestnuts on the fireplace. And then what happened? After finishing the food, Bob appeared with, uh, yes, as I said in the, in the slide here, all the family had dinner together. For slide number three, when Mr. Cratchit bought uh, when Mrs. Cratchit brought the pudding to the table, everyone clapped their hands happily and they were very happy of that dessert. And then what happened? Mr. Scratch, Mr. Cratchit do, uh, did something very weird, but it made Mr. Scrooge happy. He said to my boss, Mr. Scrooge, and he raised his glass. Without him, this dinner wouldn't be possible. So he is grateful for Mr. Scrooge, Mr. Bob was very grateful to Mr. Scrooge, although he pays him um, just few little money, but that money helped him to make this dinner for Christmas. And 
what happened? His wife said, oh, come on now. Mr. Scrooge pays you very little. But that, this, is, this can't happen. I can't manage my house with this few pennies. And, but Mr. Bob, Bob Cratchit told her that, although the, this money is very few, but it makes us make this dinner and live happily. Okay, and then what happened? Let's see. He raised his glass and said, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year for Mr. Scrooge. Now the spirit showed Scrooge many other rich places and poor people also and asked him not to forget what he had seen that night. There is something happened here. Scrooge felt a little pity on the, the, the little son, the ill son of Mr. Bob Cratch. So he asked, he asked the, uh, the, the ghost, the spirit, tell me spirit, will Tinny Tim, Tinny, Tinny Tim is the name of the son, ever get, can ever get better? The ghost replied a very um, good answer. He said that if uh, future is the same like the present, he will never be good. And this, will, this might be the last Christmas. That means he may die after that. But if, if future changed, that means maybe if you um, paid some more money to recover this boy, maybe future will be better and he could live. Okay, so he had, Mr. Scrooge have done nothing, then he hung his head like that and he became very sad. He felt very sad for the little boy. After that, the ghost, the Christmas ghost, said that you must never forget what you have seen this night from the poor places and the good places that you, or the rich places that you have seen. Now in slide number four for the questions. Where did the second spirit take Scrooge? It took him to Mr. Bob Cratchit's house to see how they celebrate for Christmas. Number two, what did the spirit ask Scrooge to do? The spirit asked Scrooge not to forget what he has seen in this journey. Number three, if nothing changed in future, this will be his last Christmas. Comment. Comment means who said these words, to whom, and in which condition. Now, these words were said by the second spirit, or the, 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 the spirit of the present, to Mr. Scrooge when he, when he asked the, uh, the ghost about Tinny Tim, and if he will ever get better or no. Okay, for the last slide here about the complete, the spirit took Scrooge to the part of town, the poor part of the town. The last one here, the clock struck and uh, disappeared. Now, when do the, the, the ghost, the second ghost disappeared? When the clock struck 12, exactly. And the ghost disappeared. That's the end of our session. Hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.